Yes, guys, welcome to the second video of the third part of the technical course. So obviously we're looking at trade um, entries at the moment and obviously trying to get yourself into the market. And one of the key things to look at is invalidation. So what I mean by this is how do you know when you're set up, um, when you should not enter a type of setup? So it might meet your criteria, but there's certain things that hint towards that setup not being perfect. So uh, what causes the invalidation of a trade? First thing, and one of the most important things is time of day. If you've got a perfect setup, the point of interest is about to hit and uh, you've got a nice stop loss going, everything like that. But it's <laughs> it's almost midnight. It's almost Asian session. You're actually trading, uh, let's say, at 5 a.m. in the morning. It really, the likelihood of that playing out, it's not too high. Because the thing is, we use time of day to also confirm our trades. I mean, you've got to think about the way um, price moves. So think think back to, I think it was our second video in the second section. Time and price uh, in the daily cycle. It's, you know, you've got to understand the Asian range. You've got the um, uh, Asian range that happens, the consolidation, London reversal, uh, the fake move. Then you've got the um, New York a London overlap, which is the retracement, everything like that, you've got to consider these things. Then news events as well, fundamentals, and then a fast spike into point of interest. So this is something that you'll come across when you're backtesting and even when you're trading. Uh, so yeah, time of day, if setup occurs outside of optimum hours, and uh, the optimum hours, if you remember me saying from last time, London, um, between eight and 10 o'clock in the morning, UK time, and then for New York, it'll be from about 12 to 2.30. So they're the times that I'm actually quite active um, out of the most times of the day. And then the rest of the day, I'll just do whatever else I'm doing. Um, particularly after five o'clock, price will consolidate and potentially even reverse till the next day. So you've got to be careful of that. Second thing, uh, news event. If a very high impact news event is released at the time of your point of interest being approached, it can be very risky, uh, risky to enter considering the amount of volatility. Events such as FOMC meetings, NFP, other data releases like CPI, PPI, <laughs> don't want to confuse you with anything at the moment, but obviously we're going to go through that in the future. Um, but yeah, news events can cause a lot of volatility and your point of interest might be the perfect one, but the amount of price movements that happen at the time, you know, you might get 20 pip moves in just a few in just a few candlesticks it's so you've got to reserve yourself then just wait till after the news event and then see what entries you can get into rather than have a limit on during that uh, news event another thing as well if you've got a funded account most of them don't let you trade your news events depending on how lenient your provider is uh, but yeah so the third thing fast spike into point of interest this happens a lot during uh, times of when you've got fundamentals going on. So especially after a news event, for example, if you if that news event caused caused a massive buy, so it sped up right into your point of interest, and your point of interest was for a sell. Really and truly consider reconsider that as a point of interest because that massive and rapid move into that area might not be the cleanest point of interest that you would find. Um, it's unlikely to just simply mitigate that area, but instead could play around with the liquidity just above, for example. Um, but yeah, you really consider price and the speed of it as well. And then of course, the main thing is fundamentals. I mean, I'm doing a whole section on this, uh, a whole course, uh, second part of the course and just fundamentals. So you're really going to get to grips with it and understand it um but this is the most obvious reason if you're going against fundamental direction please 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 <laughs> consider what you're doing i mean i'm always going to be there and obviously i hope many of you traders will take on the fundamentals and actually incorporate that into your plan because they're the type of traders that i want to build up you know understanding both technicals and fundamentals uh, but be wary and reduce risks because uh, fundamentals will all, always overpower technical analysis any in any direction. And these guys, I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.